3251 FMI 21 3251 FMI uh, 21 so those codes are the, uh, the uh, leading you to the uh, let's go back uh, this one is leading you to okay let's go back again this is about the emission uh, system um, I want to show you something there we go emission system problem uh, detected service engine okay um, some of the I've read uh, some of the um, uh, the owners uh, they experience with a uh, uh, delay 25 percent but I have not noticed that uh, the rate so I want to talk about how this code appeared here uh, how it showed up um, so um, I have it also diagnostic link uh, on my system so uh, what I did was um, here in action area uh, when you click on action and after treatment you have an option here the called uh, DOC face plug clean okay so um, well I never done that and I was just curious um, what it would do and um, you know um, I discovering um, this program there's a lot of things to know but uh, I'm type of guy who uh, does the uh, do-yourself things and um, okay well I went here and um, uh, the click on and uh, this one means uh, um, this one is the region uh, uh, just like the same as the region but the difference is it's gonna do extended period of time region process that means four four and a, four hours and 45 minutes um, uh, I read the information before I ran that and uh, uh, well I was prepared for that to do uh, the had enough time to run, run this um, the cleanup process so I did so and uh, uh, after when it finished then I went and um, got on the road and uh, then I noticed this yellow light came on um, well before I hooked up on my computer um, well I troubleshoot this code uh, the first code I mentioned uh, and uh, then I uh, then um, uh, came up this code and uh, so all of them were leading to the um, after treatment um, uh, system so um, did some research there were um, the uh, YouTube videos also some other guys explaining that but I just want to show how it showed up here I just want to tell how it showed up here so when I complete that task uh, the uh, four point f almost five hours uh, then when it showed up here so on the road I made like a, from New Jersey to Illinois and um, one point it disappeared this uh, um, uh, this yellow uh, warning light um, I tried to clear the code or I, I don't know something and I disappeared one point but I thought that I fixed it but um, it came back on again so uh, now on the way back um, I had a delivery in Connecticut and uh, I had some time there to hook up my computer and uh, test it out so see what happened here uh, this one is so after did that uh, the extended uh, the test so this code showed up but uh, here uh, in Connecticut I did uh, went to the uh, fault codes and uh, here this um, this one is a PD pressure out of range low so this one uh, was showing me at that time and that this is active right now confirmed active uh, permanently so what I did was the I clicked on it and uh, this one gives you the option to do the further troubleshooting okay so you click on here and now it's telling you here some information uh, uh, default code and uh, what it could cause the problem 25% delay uh, and uh, this one is telling you to follow the next step okay so um, I did follow the next step here um, without 
doing the same uh, without uh, turning the engine off actually I turned the engine off ignition off I'm gonna turn it, turn it off and uh, now I change the status here and uh, now it's telling you the remove the uh, passenger side uh, the fearing to uh, gain the access to the after treatment so which I did not do that because I was on the road and I don't I didn't want to cause any uh, problems so uh, at, at least if I was drive uh, the, uh, the truck was drivable and I didn't want to just uh, try to do it somewhere else so decided to uh, uh, do it on my parking uh, parking lot so so I didn't do that part and uh, the, I just followed the next step okay but then I'm gonna tell you something interesting I clicked next and uh, visually inspect the entire exhaust system for the signs of the leak and damage okay uh, I did not do that part e either okay and um, what does it ask you the, are there the leaks damage and I click no okay I click no but actually I should uh, I should inspect that but uh, anyway uh, what happened was um, um, there was the problem there so when I came back home uh, on the way back here it was like 150 miles remaining uh, this code showed up again but um, um, at that moment um, when I submitted uh, there I couldn't find any problem um, then the computer decided to let's clear the code and uh, rerun the uh, just a quick test not the region or anything like that so this is that's uh, that's what I did uh, I'm repeating the same procedure I did it earlier so in the next step diagonals link there will be automatically check the DOC inlet and the uh, uh, DOC outlet pressure sensor voltage okay so now I'm gonna click on next now it's telling me the not known uh, right now uh, it's gonna run like a uh, one minute uh, test which is it, uh, which it did the, uh, that time uh, okay uh, just give some time or I can pause it almost done so this is very important you don't need to do the region again and again and again you know uh, now it's testing the both sensors voltages and stuff uh, it's got to be in the range uh, 0 0.5 and uh, the input and output sensors uh, I can show you uh, the readings where it's located at also it's supposed to be under one kpg or psi um, uh, I'll show you that so now it's gonna finish that sorry about this glare I can't get rid of that okay so please turn uh turn off the ignition okay i am doing that okay remove and uh inspect the doc and pdf sensors tubes uh, which i did not do it um at that time but i did it now and uh, i'm gonna show you what i found out okay i'm gonna click um uh, yes now i'm gonna click yes at this time and uh now if the restriction pressure sensor tube was found to clear the restrictions okay click next uh press uh please turn the engine on okay let's do that but not to start engine okay okay you see that i didn't even start the engine so this one uh Please start the engine. Okay, I'm gonna do it now. Okay, so it's gonna uh, rev up up to 1300 RPM, probably next one minute. Okay, so the this code uh, was removed. Uh, there was actually two codes. Uh, one is the left uh, beam uh, line something. Uh, it's just reporting. Uh, I've seen in other Cascadias also. It's reporting the same thing. But I don't know what the problem is. Uh, this is uh, gonna be the another subject. So, so as you can see, also uh, the, this code went away. Uh, I just want to show you here, complete on the computer, and uh, then uh, um, we'll go. Okay, there we go. Change the RPM. It's gonna go up to 1300. Let me pause it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause it so we don't have to wait for that. So it's almost done. Let's see what happens. 
car went down to the um, the normal um, uh, idling okay okay so well I don't need to file this one uh, actually uh, so um, this one is telling you to report but uh, we're not uh, we're offline right now this is uh, it's it's not connected to the dealer okay well actually I can't do that uh, so um, uh, well, I had a, uh, previously found the problem, but I wanted to go through with you guys. So the problem was uh, uh, I found the input um, uh, DOC uh, high pressure. Uh, the rubber hose was burned out. So it looks like uh, it did not work. Well, the uh, phase region caused uh, completely fail that uh, that this hose. Now I'm going to show you the hose what it looks like. I got it outside of the car, but uh, um, so see, um, that's what I diagnosed. That, uh, I didn't have to answer this question, but uh, I'm doing it now. So right now, I'm going to finish that. And uh, uh, if you go to the codes, there is this code is went away. Uh, if I go to the instruments, um, FCR, okay, barometric pressure. Okay, EGR delta pressure, not that one. I'm looking for actually. Okay, this one is located in the service uh, routines, and uh, that's where the DPS system. And uh, here is the, the DOC inlet pressure. That's zero point. It's very low here. And uh, here is the output uh, PDF output pressure. It's very low. So that means uh, I don't need to do the uh, DPF filters clean. Okay, it's pretty clean right now. Um, there is no high pressure. If it goes like a higher, like a two, three, then that means uh, it's uh, something is seriously wrong there, and that needs to be cleaned or replaced um, the 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 filters or sensor. So right now, it's a reading is normal. It's, uh, I'm idling right now 600 RPM. Okay, so that's the that's the uh, good news. Uh, so now I'm gonna show you, um, I'm gonna show you what happened. Uh, I, we're gonna go outside and I'm gonna show you what happened. So after when it prompted me uh, to uh, remove the side panel here, um, I didn't do it. So then I was asking you to inspect, inspect the, uh, the hoses and that kind of stuff. Okay, I did not do it. So, but I I did it after, um, uh, you know, the, uh, after I got home and uh, I removed it. So I started inspecting. They were looking fine. This um, uh, was off from the cliff, and then I test this one out, and uh, this one was really burned out. Okay, so this is the input, and the sensor is behind this one. Okay. I don't know if you can see that this one. This one has the clamp right here. You gotta remove the clamp, and it has the uh, C clamp also. I don't know right here. You have to remove that, and uh, you will be able to uh, un uh, remove this hose with the, uh, the channel uh, plier, and uh, you will be able to remove that. And uh, then I was able to replace this uh, the hose, uh, and also this is the outlet pressure it's right here and the same thing yeah okay that these uh, two sensors are there uh, so the problem was this hose was burned out now let me show you hose what it looks like now okay you see this guys it's split right in the middle so it looks like those these hose were burned before and uh, but I was not reporting any um, error codes there so when I ran this phase cleaning, that probably accelerated to separate this uh, from between together, and uh, that's what caused the problem. Uh, let me see if I can. Yeah. So that was the problem. Okay. Now I'm gonna go through the parts. Before um, I went to the dealer, and uh, this is uh, one of them is the input, and the one of them, the second one is the output. So these are the uh, part numbers here, okay? So two different uh, input and output. 
sensors so i thought that would be the problem those both of them were 290 dollars that's in new jersey it could be less different state where is the it will vary probably the different states so this is the tubes um, um and uh, uh this is like a seven dollars it comes with a clamp i didn't have to replace the clamp uh so i got the two of them and this is the part number so uh here is the final uh final thing um um, if you have this diagnostic tool, this is really, really helpful. If you don't have it, this is not end of the world, but uh, there is a lots of manuals on the uh, internet and uh, it follow the instruction. But uh, you can you can also, from the dash, you can uh, uh, also test it out uh, and uh, find the code, what's the problem, and uh, go to the internet and uh, do the further troubleshooting. This is my troubleshooting I did, and uh, I know it's gonna fix the problem because um, it was, um, you know, there was not reading the enough pressure there. It was bro uh, the broken. So you, this is very handy, guys. It's a compressed air. So when I remove that, before I put it back in, uh, this uh, sensor was really uh, lots of ashes there. So I didn't replace the sensor. I don't believe that the sensor needs to be replaced. Uh, I'm gonna keep it like a week or so and uh, then uh, if, if I'm not gonna get any problem I'm gonna return it but uh, just so you know uh, you don't need to replace the sensor if it works uh, the in my case the, this hose was broken so this is um, all for now and uh, hopefully somebody will benefit from this video and uh, you don't have to go through the dealer because uh, this one does not stop stop you it didn't stop me so I guess it was not too um, the problematic here. It could be wrong or could be worse because these uh, uh, filters or uh, other things can go wrong. And uh, in my case, luckily it didn't go wrong. It was only the hose. All right, guys, I'm signing out and thank you for watching.